everyone, this is Adam Virgil, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a drop-down menu in Google Sheets. Now drop-down menus come in handy when you're trying to create interactive dashboard experiences because you can select, let's say, an athlete and have information on the page change to be about that athlete. Creating drop-down menus is also beneficial for ensuring data integrity. If you have a list of athletes to pick from or a list of positions to pick from rather than having to type in a name every time. That can help ensure data accuracy by avoiding human error and mistyping. So let's figure out how to do this. Right now I have this dashboard and I have to type in the athlete's name to get the information about them to appear. So if I want to see information for athlete 3 I can type in athlete 3 right here and their information will change. And I can also type in athlete 7. But what if I wanted to hide this information? Then that would require for me to know how to spell the athlete's name correctly and know which athletes are available for us to interact with this visualization in the way that we want to. So let's figure out how to, how to do this. I'll click on the cell that we want to create the drop down list in, and that is H1 to O1. You can't see the O here, but it's merged in with O. So H1 to O1 is the cell that we want to apply this to. We we'll go to data, data validation, and the first thing is a cell range. That's the range of cells that we want this list to be in. And like I just said, we want it to be an H1 to O1, which is the range of cells for that athlete's name. And now the next thing is list from a range. So it's saying, what list do you want to pick from in this drop down menu? Where is that list located? If we click on these boxes here, we can select this range of athletes or the athlete names that we want to pick from and click OK. And now we have two options. We can either show a warning if the name is incorrect or we can completely reject the input and not allow the user to select a name that is incorrect. And what you may be asking is how could a user possibly select a name that's incorrect if there's a drop-down list. Well, I'll get to that in a minute because I want to talk about Google Sheets versus Excel drop-down lists in a second. But let's have it just show a warning for now and we can click Save. Now we'll see a little arrow appear here and we can select the athlete that we want to look at from this drop-down list. It's as simple as that. That's how you create a drop-down list in Google Sheets. Now I want to talk about a couple of differences between Google Sheets and Excel, both of them in favor for Google Sheets, in my opinion. The first is, I said, how could we possibly select an athlete that is on the list? Well, what you can do is you can start typing in an athlete's name, and as you do that, the list will filter down to the athletes that you have. So, for example, if I type in the number one, only athlete number one is going to show up because the number one only appears in that athlete's name. If I type in number two, only athlete two will show up. And I could also just type in a name. I'll type in athlete two two by accident and click enter. And what will happen is we'll get a bunch of errors, and, and but we'll also get this little red thing up in the corner that says invalid, must fall within a space specified range. That's our warning. That's telling us this is not a valid entry or this athlete is not on the list. Now I'm going to choose athlete one again and I am going to set the data data validation up to be a reject input instead and click save. Now if we start typing in an athlete's name and we type in athlete 22 by accident and click enter we will not be allowed to do so because that athlete is not in the list of names that we have in our drop-down list. And that's great. It helps protect the integrity of, of your visualizations, depending on who's using them. The second thing that I believe Google Sheets currently has an advantage over Microsoft Excel for drop-down lists in is with our data validation, data, data validation, we selected the drop-down list to be from A2 to A8, which is all of our athletes' names. And if we were to, let's just say, add another athlete, let's say athlete 8, 
maybe they don't have a picture, but they're they're a guard and in their number one hundred and they're on the team and they're on Adam's team. And I go to select from this drop down list, athlete eight is not going to show up. Now, if you included athlete eight, or if you made the range go from A2 to A9 in Microsoft Excel, you would see blanks in your drop down list. So you could imagine you'd have athlete one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then a blank. And if you included more blank, more cells without athlete names in them, you'd have even more blanks. And there are certain formulas you can write to get around that in Excel, but it's not straightforward. Now, let's adjust our range in Google Sheets. Go to data with this cell selected, data validation. Instead of just selecting A2 through A8, we can select, let's say, A2 through A1000 and click Save. Now, if we go to our drop down list, Athlete 8 will appear in this list. And notice one thing there are no blanks. In Excel, you would have 1000 minus 8, you'd have 990 plus blanks beneath Athlete 8, and the text would be really small. It would be really hard to navigate. But not with Google Sheets. So we could select Athlete 8 and everything will be all good. And if we add in another athlete, Athlete 9, and maybe they're a forward and they're a number 500 and they're also on Adam's team. When we go back to our drop down list, we see Athlete 9 and we can select them too. So now what we can do is we can hide our data. Let's say we can select these cells or these columns, right click, for me at least on a PC, and hide columns. Now we don't have to look at them, or we don't have to know the athletes' names to select them from this drop-down list. And that's it. That's how you create a drop-down list in Google Sheets. And those are a couple of current advantages that I believe Google Sheets has over Microsoft Excel in that capacity. And thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video or if you got something beneficial out of it, please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel so that YouTube knows that it's helping some people out there. Thanks again for watching. Please don't hesitate to let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next video.